Hello, my name's Mark, and these are my Droid Tales, and today I'm playing 8 Minute Empire. Uh, it was originally a board game, uh, it still is a board game, back in 2012, and back then it was made by Red Raven Games, who are still uh, an ongoing company making many good games. And the digital edition is made by Akram Digital, and they make a very slick uh, version as well. So, I'm going to be showing you an AI game, and then I'm going to do a few turns where I've got some ongoing um, ongoing online games and just sort of finish off with some comments that we've got on the actual board game on Board Game Geek. Um, I mean overall I am loving it, I like the simplification, I like the speed and I like the chats um, room and the little community that, that it's got as well uh, with the people that I've been playing with so far this week. Uh, so uh, let's get on with the rest of it. It has had a few iterations. Uh, there has been Legends, um, which is a fantasy version where you get you can sort of get leaders for your army. Uh, this one is just colonial. Uh, I, guess, I think that's the word for it. And bam, 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 let's see what the little bit blurb of the game is. A quick game that implements a civilization exploration theme using a card-driven area control by placing armies and cities in a small map and set collection by getting resources from the board uh, and the cards. Players spread throughout the map in order to collect points at the end of the game, having majorities in regions and continents. All actions such as land or sea movement, army production, or finding the cities are driven by cards. There are always six cards face up at a time, uh, and they increase in points. Cards also contain resources, which can also give points when the game ends, if properly collected. So, I've gone into end game there. Uh, so there we go, 8 Minute Empire. Um, I've always had it as a filler, I tend to always pack it in my bag. It's not one that comes out very often, but I've got a new understanding of it uh, from playing the, the app, basically. Because uh, I've been playing the app online. You know what, it's just pipping Race for the Galaxy at the moment, because it's got a chat mechanic, and that sort of gives you a new... Um, perspective, it makes your opponents more human, whereas Race for the Galaxy, they still feel a bit robotic, because uh, other than their names, you're not getting anywhere. So this is the screen, uh, so hopefully that's going to be floating around left or right of me. Uh, I wonder if I should move the camera around and I can cut myself out one way or the other. I don't know. Anyway, but let's just get on to the game itself. So 8 Minute Empire by Ryan Laukatz. Uh Red Raven Games originally is a board game, and Akram Digital as the games developer, you can play versus the AI, you can play online. I'm going to show you uh, the very basic versus the AI. I'm going to play versus two medium AI. So I am Dice Tales there in blue. Uh, let's just see the other faces that we can choose, I think. So you can, there's uh, how many? Five players? So three, yellow, uh, can I change my colour again? Green and blue. So I'm going to say it's blue, my opponent's red, my other opponent is... Uh, I can even change their names if I don't like the names. I can call her Bob. And... I don't know. Terry? <laughs> what? Where did these names come from? I can randomise it to see who... Um, what sorts of AIs we get. So lots of easy people. Easy and medium. Let's just get rid of them and just go for medium, medium, human, so you can pass and play. Let's go to play, and let's get some music up. Oh, I must have turned the music off in settings. Let's see if I can get those back. Music. Sound effects. Let's see, is that going to be loud enough without drowning me out? Oh, colorblind mode, I've not seen that. So there's a couple of things to investigate. Right, where is my game? Uh, I think if I go back... No, I don't want to exit the game. New game? Ah, no, I saw it continue at the bottom there. There we go. Continue local game. Right, so... You have a map, and it's separated by all these regions. The dotted lines denote sea travel, so you can only move if you get a sea card. And Joey starts in a capital. We're straight out at the moment, so let's talk about the bidding on the left-hand side here. So you bid to go first, and what might influence you is the cards spread out on the bottom here. So you can see they go from zero cost 
and then there's two for one cost, two for two cost, and one for three cost. And as you buy buy one, they will all slide down, and a new one will be replaced at the end. And now these gems, they are the rarest good to collect, and they're worth the most points for collecting the fewest. So that I've been having uh, in my online games, collecting those has, has, I think, really kept me high up in the scores. Uh, you start with 11 gold, so what you bid will cut out of that. And there's 10 turns in a 3 player game, you get more in a, I think it's 13 in a 2 player game. And I haven't really explored anything beyond 2 player and 3 player yet. Uh, though, but there are other additions to the game, such as mountains and other maps, so I'll get to that after this game. Um, I just could have been one, because I like the idea of getting a red thing. I've won the bid, because I was first anyway. I can choose who's first player, just rotate them around. I'm going to go second. Right, he got the cheapest one, but that's brought the other red one down in price, so... I don't know if that was worth it or not. So, what you can do. So now, what's happened here? So we all started out with three men in this capital city with a big castle. You can zoom in if you want. And basically, when we all had three, it was neutral because no one had the area majority. Let's just turn the volume down a bit. The purple player just took the card that gave her one recruit and also a red gem. So you can see that she's got a red gem on the left hand side here and that's given her one point. If she had two red gems it'll be two points. If she managed to get four red gems it'll be six points. And you can sort of see my blank table there as well on the left hand side. It's a bit uh, floaty so just controlling it for the video is a little bit tricky. But anyway they took the card that had the soldier's face on it, but it only had one soldier, it didn't have a plus three or a plus two next to it. So they got one soldier which they added to the central capital, and they, because they have four, they've got more than anyone else, they were majority, and they claimed that territory in the middle. However, the whole continent has gone purple because technically they're the only one that control a territory in that continent. So I'm gonna start moving out. I'm gonna take this red gem, and that lets me move two troops because I had a boot on it. So I select where I want to move from, and I move to there. And I select where I want to move from. You know, I've got two ideas here. One, I want to move to the ports. Is it better to move everyone out to a different port? Or do I move them to the same port and to get a more of a majority when I sail across? I'm going to go with that tactic. I'm going to sail across to this, I'm going to call it the American continent, because it kind of looks like Europe and America, that in a roundabout way. Uh, so that's what I'm going to choose. I'm going to click on the uh, tick icon to confirm. And that's me done. I now control that continent. And the red player's gone. For a brief moment, you saw that no one had majority. And the AI goes really quickly. It's quite kind of nice playing uh, online because is it called asynchronous it's it's a bit like play by email you get a you'll get a notification when it's your turn uh, and there's no real time pressure so again what we've just seen the red is spread out from the capital the purple spread out from the capital the purple now has majority because he owns three areas and that's a little bit expensive there three for three two what else can I possibly get? So the choices are, I can get that very expensive boat and ferry my people across. Uh, so a boat can also just be used across land as well, it doesn't have to be across the sea. Otherwise it's just a lot of cheap recruiting, so I'm going to get a cheap recruiting. And you can only recruit in places that have a castle. And you can have cards down here where you can build castles later on. If you make a mistake, you can click this arrow button and you can undo what you've done. If you had like three actions, you can undo it all and it eventually puts the card back as well. But 
I'm going to stick with it for this game and see how I do. So I now have control. Everyone's got two territories, so no one's controlling the continent. And I think you get a point. So can, let's see if we can work out my points from this. Hey, cat. Right, so I've got two, three. I don't know where my fourth point is coming from at the moment. Oh, and four, because I also own three carrots would get you one point. However, there's a carrot, so there's, there's a good on the land. So on the top left there, there's a red gem, which is many, I'm going to be going for. On the top right here in the corner, there's an anvil. But on the central continent, there's a carrot. Because I own the majority, I own that carrot. <laughs> and these goods are random, they will change. I don't know if they change position, and they're always out in this sort of five, uh, five pips on a dice layout. I don't know if they move from memory. Anyway, let's go on to the next turn. Have a quick gander at what my opponent's going to do. So red's moving and sailing. Did he take the expensive? No. He didn't take. I didn't see there was another boat. I think you can click this and replay what you've just seen, just in case you missed it. If you were distracted. Uh, right. So the boats come down in price. It's two. That's very reasonable. You can keep an eye on how many units your opponent's got out, how many territories and castles they've got, how much money they've got. Really, it's how much money they've got that's important. But I'm going to sail across to America. I'm going to go with two people. So Mallory's on five. Me, Dice Tails on three, and Edwards on five. So I'm a little bit behind, but it's early doors. It's only turn three of ten. At the end of this game, we'll see a few multiplayer games that I've got ongoing. You can have up to ten multiplayer games going at the same time. And you can vary. I found it easy. I've just gone to open a room and people have joined. And there's a little chat button you can say hi, and uh, I've got chatting with one player and basically I'm playing them a lot. Um, so if you if you watch this uh, video, please comment below if you're one of the players that I'm playing. Right, so anyway, what's going on here? What's going on in this game? Giving away my tactics now. Movement is going to be good. Seven money. It'll put me... Ah, so, cards down below. A castle, builds a castle, gives you... Castle's one short soldier as well, um, if you need majority. Cat, noisy. Uh, I should have shut the, the, the door before starting this. Um, the soldier and the, num and the plus symbol shows you how many soldiers you can put anywhere that you've got a castle. The dagger is kill someone anywhere on the board, just kill one unit can be critical for taking control of a continent. The boot is move that many armies, and the ship is move that many spaces, but you can also move across the sea. But I also looking at the goods. I'm almost tempted. One, two, three. That's very, very expensive. Might scupper me. I'm gonna I'm gonna nick the boat. I'm gonna go and sail. I would really like that ore. So one, two, three. So I'm now on another continent. So technically I'm, I'm owning two continents because I'm the only person on it. So that's giving me some points. But this one's not well defended. And that, I think, is all I'm going to do. They're building a castle somewhere. Now I can do movements. Four movements is going to be very good. Four will get me that gem and that. And it only cost me one. Leaving me with three gold for a lot of turns. That's... That's risky, maybe. But I don't really want to miss up. Uh, there's another one coming down. So I could just recruit. 
You know what? I'm gonna stab. This one does both. Destroy a troop. I don't like my purple rival here. So that takes him down to three. And recruit a unit. Puts me up to four, so I gain that, that central spot. So it's taken the four that I wanted, but I think I can wait for the next one coming. Okay, it's okay. This, and this card is optional, it's either recruit three or um, move four. I really, really want to move. So, ooh, probably down to one coin, which won't give me many options in the next few turns. And I haven't counted, I don't think it says anywhere in the instructions how many of each card type there are. The castle is looking slightly tempting right now. Put a castle on one of those continents. And hope I get movement later on. No, I'm gonna move. Move troops. You move to there, gets me an all. You move to there, you move to there. So I've got two territories there, that's good. And this one. A bit tricky moving him out, but um, I guess I can go to the coast and considering that there might be another boat coming. Though, will I be able to afford a boat with only one coin? That's another question. So, they are the kind of thought process that, thought process that you might go through in the game. Uh, what's great about the app is that all this scoring is done for you, where it's not done in the board game, you sort of go to get to the end game and then sort of count things up. Um, where here it's very clear with the very bold colours. I wonder if... did I tick? Let's just have a look at colour blindness. Colour blind mode, tick it, let's just see what changes. Continue game. Uh, it's put extra symbols, so it's ah, right, so it's not just colours. So I have the... Fleur? Is that what you call that thing? There's a cross person and there's a purple have the sun icon, so that's what that means. So there you go. If you're colorblind and can't see these colors, they've thought about you. Right, now it's reduced my choices. So it knows I've only got one coin, so it knows I can only buy from that bottom row. Where do I want to shore up? I think, you know, I think I've pretty much lost this central continent, so I'm not worried about that. There's no boats coming, but there's seven, eight, nine, ten, three, three more turns. Trouble is, if I recruit, it will only be... I'm going to buy the castle, and that's, that's going to spend my last coin. Hello, cat. Let's smile for the camera. Meow. Well, I didn't see what my opponents did there, so I could replay. But I'm not gonna. Because it won't affect me either way. Uh, how are we doing points wise? I'm winning, technically. And I can only buy three people, so I can put one there. So it shows up that, and then. Another two in the central one there. They're all in similar situations of hardly any money. So sometimes the last few turns just play out. Oh, movements, that's useful. What can I do with movements? Five movements as well. So all my people in the middle here. So I can experiment, this is great. I've done this in some online games. So if I do that, I take the majority out. One, two, three, four, five. And you sort of 
play around with. Can you... I don't think there's any way I, um, I can take the majority here. I can king make a bit. Who's got the most points? So I really want to take away from the purples at least. So I'll steal that off you. They're going to have another turn and there are some movement things coming up. And there's a boat as well. Hmm. Pretty sure I can't go across the sea. No, I can't go across the sea. But I can move into a safest place, because if he did move across the sea, he'd have to move twice, so that's something. So I have two in a continent. There you go. So I've secured that continent, because if he moves onto a harbour, I've still got two. If he moves into a harbour, I've still got two. I mean, there is a lot of movement, and... Take it away from purple and give it to red. And that's a safer bet. There you go, Edward. Helping you out there. Last round! We're all just scrapping over that central continent. And I've got four movements. Interesting. So he owns one, two, three, four, five, six. He owns seven. I can't cross the borders though, so... Let's try this. One, two, three. Hey! Gets me another continent. I've basically gone to America. And I own the three continents. He can follow me. He's got another turn after me. Anything I can do to prevent him doing any shenanigans? Not just denying points. He has no money, so he's only going to be able to build a castle, which won't help him. I think he's already doing the best he can. Bop. Hurrah! The Traveller, because I must have done so much movement. So it gives you a rundown of your skulls. Um, so Darius Tales has won on this game, which is great. My other video, my other take of this, I didn't win. Uh, it's better to win, I think, for your videos for the online YouTube mark. Right. So I won, I won, so because I had two red goods, that's gonna be two points. Because I had three or coal icons, that's gonna be another two points. Overall, from all my goods, I got seven points. From the regions, just the areas where I had a had a majority of men, I scored seven points, so I had seven different areas. And because they were in three different continents, that gave me some points as well. Close with Edward on 16. Whew, I helped him out as well. I'm sorry, Mar <laughs> Mallory, because I think I did uh, pick on you because you were winning early on. But yeah, I'm anyway, enjoying it. Let's go. I don't want to start again. I want to go back. Ah! Also what you can do, you can do a campaign game where it's a best of three, it's basically the same map three times. Uh, let's go, let's go to the main menu. I'm going to show you one of my online games. So, here it says that it's my turn, so I've got two where it's my turn. I think this one is just starting, this might be at the bidding stage. Now this one's a five-player uh, five game, so I've not done that before. Um, and they are pretty rubbish, trees and carrots at the beginning. I'm not too bothered where I end up. And I kind of like being last, because sometimes you can have that uh, turn where if I take it from you and take that, it can be favourable sometimes. So that's all I can do there, so I'm going to go back to me. And that was on the Europe map. Uh, Starfall Crater. I think this is quite an interesting game. Um, there are some other goods. I think there are chests that give you gold. So I raced to get them at the start of the game. So this is a game in progress. You can see I was holding the bottom continent, but uh, the green player has just taken it off me. Yikes. I'm sure at the start of the game, <laughs> I have a lot more points than that at the start of the turn. Uh, okay, what can I do? This is going to be tactical and thinky. 
And we've got three movements. Gosh, five there is a real pain. Right, I've got to experiment to see what this three movement's going to get me. One. No, I can't. It's not going to get me that. Right, so he's stolen the good. I can't do anything there. Let's get undo that. Also, if you notice, there are mountains on this map. That's uh, one of the expansions you can get. And a mountain means you must have two units in that area before you can move out of it. You can move into it freely, but to move out, uh, you get stuck and you need two. Which is a pain, because most of this is mountains down here. Okay, so move into there. Take that back. One movement left, so I've not got enough there. 17, 15, 17, I can make it a draw. Green's gonna go after me though, so he's gonna have, he's got two money, he's got a few choices down here. Anything better I can do. There's no point in me taking a gem because I've already got maximum. Oh, choices, choices. Castle. Is the castle going to be any better then? Castle gets me a carrot, which isn't really anything. If I get that. Just gives me an extra two points there. Fourteen. Seventeen, eighteen, fifteen. Ooh, I don't think I can get anything better than that. I'm gonna go with that. Good efforts, but I think I'm gonna come second. Really depends how aggressively green takes on the uh, purple player, I think. Anyway, what else have we got going on in your line? So, oops, my turn again there. So, you're playing the same players here. Bum, bum, bum. So again, I've gone across the continent over there, which is a nice tactic. Uh, you can see the goods are different. We've not got a carrot on the central one at least. Um, movement would be good, but it's expensive. Having the options at the end is quite good. I'm going to go with a nice cheap forest and build a castle over there. Because it looks like it can recruit. Ooh, and a big movement coming up. That'll be useful. Just spreading out those four from the cent central capital. And oh, I'll show you the chats. So, yep, so you can drop down. You can chat in a global chat room. There's no one in there at the moment. You can chat about the game. You just click on the on the... Hi guys. Recording for YouTube. Make you famous. Famous, famous, face spell. Boop. There we go. So they'll see that message next time they log in. <laughs> Uh, and maybe I'll get two new subscribers. Hooray! Uh, so that is that. Uh, did I end that game properly? Yeah, let's go to main menu. It'll tell me if there's anything waiting my turn. Ugh, gosh, everything's going around quite fast here. Uh, this is what happened with um, Race for the Galaxy. You just constantly, if you have several games on the go, you're just constantly checking your phone and having another turn. Every, um, might it'd be rude not to. Uh, here, on this game, the red player surrendered, so he's basically abandoned it. His units stay on the board, um, but he is inactive, and I think it's now just a two-player game with an extra neutral army in that in that area. So I don't know what is uh, why he abandoned the game. It's the first abandoned 
game that I've had. Uh, but so me and the green are fighting it out, and we're quite even. I'm just ahead of him. Oh no, I think I've got you because I've got lots of movement and lots of troops. And then you're going to do it straight back to me with the next card along. Damn. Okay, what else can I do? I don't know where the continents. I think that's another continent down there at the very edge. Could get a boat. Right. Planets. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And he's going to move four next turn. That's not a good position. I think I need to take the boat, but I'm far away from anything like that. Let's undo that. I could have the anvil instead of the carrots, which at least gives me another point up here. Because he's already spread out, so his movement, if he does get the boot, he's not going to be doing much movement. One, two, get that carrot, three, and it tells you in the top right corner how many you've got left. Take that. So I'm on my way to getting that continent down the bottom. Oh, it's last round. I didn't factor that in. Maybe there was better choices. No, I think I got the goods. I think that helped me out. I'm two points ahead. Let's see what he does. I think I've already committed to the game anyway. So, um,. I'm loving Aiming at Empire at the moment, and I loved it in real life. I really hope, uh, what they're called, they're digital, Akram Digital, make the fantasy version, and I believe there is also like a steampunk, I'm going to say steampunk, uh, like a sci-fi Mad Max type version as well, just with extra type rules, so I hope we see those. Uh, oh, official websites. That's the board game. Red Ravens. Okay. Uh, comments. Last time I did comments, didn't I? Uh, let's have a quick look. These are board game comments, but um, it's a 6.6, .6, which isn't bad for a filler. That's out of 10. And yeah, top, top comment is there is great filler. Pleasantly surprised. Don't get to play out of control much, and I thought it worked well, even at two player. Yeah, I agree when playing the app. Uh, 8, uh, he had it in 2014, he's updated his scores in uh, 2015 and 16, so I like, I like people that review games like that, and it's even telling you how, how often he's played it in 2019, 22 times. Played a 5 player game in 30 minutes, that's what you get for the actual physical board game. Um, played a 5 player game in 33 minutes. He's, he's very uh, interesting comments there. Simple and straightforward, area majority and set collection, fits in a travel size box, another bonus. Fits in your app and your phone now. Uh, full area control game with set collection, collection, simple and fast, good opener. I totally agree with all these comments, they are uh, mirroring what I want to say about the game. The app is slick, I love the chat room. Ah, open game. So you can, uh, I didn't show you that. So online, you go to open rooms. This one's got a key on it, so this is three friends who've got a password. Uh, I can go to plus, and I can say which map I want to start with. I can say if we want good tokens or not, that's optional. You don't have to play with good tokens. I can tick that to say if I want it to be best of three. It's not even best of three, it's play three and whoever scored the most. For 4 99 you get a bonus um, for 69 you get a bonus on buying these extra maps, so I haven't done that yet, but I think I am going to. If your opponent starts an online game with one of these maps, you can get to join without having to own it. 
And they also unlock the mountains. So I think you can get mountains on the original maps, as well as, as you saw on the Starfall Crater, mountains expansion there. That's uh, 89p. I mean, a lot of these games I get when I've got Google Opinion, Google Rewards. They ask me questions every now and again. Usually, have I been to this shop recently? And they give me 13 or 20p. And after a while, you can, you can rock up four or five pounds quite quickly if you get these kind of games or these additions. Let's also have a look. I like the button that says Seal the Games. So, Charter Stone, Digital Edition, interesting. Istanbul, I've got. Um, haven't really played it physically. I know it's played and I think it's very popular. Steam, I heard good things. I think it's a bit meaty for me. Um, and fiddly with lots of tokens, so digital might be interesting. But I think you're going to see me playing Istanbul in the future on this channel. I don't know when. And Charterstone, I'll have to look up. I like the artwork that I'm seeing there. Let's see if it gives us more detail. Akram. New digital lodging coming soon. Keep me informed. A campaign full of surprises. Create an animated board game village with your own hands. So looking forward to something like that. That looks cute. Um, so, cool. 8 Minute Empire uh, in a very long... I should have tried to do an 8 minute review. Um, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to leave it there. I've been recording and I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> Uh, I've got to do an Andor. We're almost getting to the end of Andor, like three or four missions out, out finishing up the Andor campaign. And I'm going to exit the game. Just leave you there with an, an image of some of the other games that I've got to come. Thank you very much for watching my draw tales today. And um, comment below if you if you saw yourself in the video in the online section. Okay, that's Mark's draw tales. Goodbye.